For this part, I want to show you how easy you can sync your video and audio together through the Technical Sync Studio. So before that, I, okay, I have already prepared the clips and then which is four video files and also one audio files, so into a folder. So then what you need to do is open your Technical Sync Studio. If you haven't downloaded it, and then just go to a Technical Sync website and then to download it. And uh, if, you, if you are the owner for the Technical Sync products, and then you can actually license one of this for free. Otherwise, and then maybe it's uh, talking about like 149 uh, euro, and uh, you have uh, 40 days to, uh, to do uh, trials. So, okay, then what I need to do is just like drag all the files into the uh, software. Okay, so before I do anything, and then I will show you, okay, in this four file, five files, and then you will see there is, okay, they got like video files, okay, and then they got audios, uh, maybe a what's sampling rate, and also like the, uh, um, they have like the file TC, that is the original video time code, and also whether they have like an audio TC time code. So that is the one which we are actually gen through the uh, audio input. So you see some files, as I said, like as I um, as I mentioned before, maybe um, some of the unit, and then they don't have the time code in, and then the only thing you can do is using the audio to generate in. So that's why some files you get like an uh, audio TC, but some of them like this, okay, like the uh, the file source from the uh, X one eighty and also the uh, um, six three three from Sound Device, and then because they have like a TC in, so I can gen the uh, time code and then special and then probably from. Uh, to the unit. So, okay, so I got like five files here, and then, okay, on here, on top, and then there is some settings. For example, like the media, what is the media means? Okay, so for example, like once you sync the video and audio, and then the only thing you need to do is just combine it together. So when you combine it together, and then you can choose what video format you are, and also what audio format you are, at the same time, whether you want to change the resolution too. Okay, and at the same time, and then, they can read the what is the read uh, audio TC because on here you will see some files and then the audio TC is in channel one, uh, some is from channel two, which is my mistake. And then I always been uh, it's better to actually standardize maybe all in uh, channel two, maybe something like that. And then, uh, but okay, I mess out. I'm sorry, but uh, okay. What you need to do is just let everything is auto, so they will auto detect which channel is probably the audio TC. Then, okay, you can press the sync, sync info and then they will show you that, okay, oh, probably like they have already made sure that like that five files is already can be synced. Then the last thing you need to do is the sync map. Okay, so when you do the sync map and then, okay, they will line up all five files and then uh, to, uh, to a proper like time codes. So then what you need to do is just like playback. Okay. Okay, so now you will see the setting. Okay. You will see Okay. So, so you now will you will the see settings, the setting, which is with a lot of camera because I want whatever, to like, like simulate a, a multi camera or mode whatever files, to sync with whatever clips all these like units. So you will see the FS five and then using the uh, audio time code uh, in and then sync with the uh, technical sync. So they are connected together. So you will see, okay, they have actually using a multi-cam mode. And then uh, if you want to use the multi-cam mode, make sure that you have clicked the, uh, uh, the multi-cam mode. If you not, and then they only put on like maybe uh, all into one files, and then they're using the first file as that. And uh, that, is, um, that is a bit of pain. So make sure that if you got like multi-camera mode, and then want to sync with one audio source, and then you can do the multi-cam mode. Then at the same time, if you want to keep the, uh, the camera audios, and then you also can click the uh, keep audio, uh, the camera audio. So you will see all the uh, audios from the uh, video clips and then it's appear here. But for my situation, I don't want to take that audio, so I will unclick it all. Okay, so, and also one more thing, you have to make sure that, okay, if you go to setting and then, uh, for me, I don't want to, okay, I just unclick this, do not read audio TC on the MXF files faster. And then, okay, you just like maybe untick it because 
for MXF files and then for example like maybe um, the this one and then I might sometimes have the uh, have the audio TC but for this one I don't have but uh, for example like this one I have like audio TC if you take this and then they will they will not like read the uh, audio TC which is uh, a bit of pain uh, so that's why I make sure that yeah you can take this okay so everything has been said the only thing I need to do is just export it and then combine my audio and video source together so what I need to do is go to the menu uh, okay before that and then I just minimize my my window and then I'll go to media okay this time I want to uh, maybe uh, uh, for the video source I want to uh, convert into proxy audio source okay just like maybe a pass through the PCM so just like the original one okay so then okay I put it into a desktop fine okay so export so once you do the export and then they start to create and then combine each video with the audio source together so it will do it one by one so now okay they have a process they are already uh, transcode three of my uh, video files and then with my audios then okay they are doing their transcoding the last one at the same time and then you will see they are uh, already give you a lock of files and then whether they have success they have any drop and then something else and then it's very um, clear and then it's easy so you will see my process is been easy and then it just take like maybe probably like maybe a few seconds and then to sing like maybe a uh, whatever files I want okay so it's already done and then I will show you okay once it's done okay you can actually close the files programs I mean okay so and at the end okay you will see there is a lot here showing you okay you have transcoded four formats the name and then okay probably is success or not and then any files is uh, not sync or maybe a fail okay so then okay I can sh maybe uh, show you several clips okay so now you will see the setting okay you will see okay so now you will see the setting which is with okay let me show you the um, the inspector so you will see the inspector and then it have actually converted into the um, ProRes so 422 proxy and then using okay the, uh, so I'm done for this code. one okay uh, so maybe let's uh, try another one okay Okay, so now you will see the setting. Okay, you will see. Okay, so now you will see the setting, which is with a lot of camera because I want to light like, simulate a multi-camera mode. To... Okay, so you are seeing that like maybe all the files is actually been synced, and then and how easy are they? So if you want to know more about like this technical thing please visit ANS website and also the technical sync website for sure.